Hey guys, it's Mark from North 7 Outdoors. We are back to do a little uh, sale unboxing, unbagging as the case may be. And one more thing. We have light. So, sorry, um, did the unboxing video. This is all a new room for my tackle. I didn't really think about visually when I'm editing videos I often try and think of like the message and the message was you know and that uh, the message was pretty much is tackle warehouses explaining somewhat about what that is about and buying tackle in bulk and that was a message and I was just kind of trying to make sure uh, I was saying the correct things about what I was trying to get across. Now I realize that I need to make things aesthetically watchable you know or you might as well just be watching a podcast so I ran out and got a new light for the tackle room so I'm hoping that helps with unboxings but we're gonna do one today so let me know if it's better or not for lighting um yeah you know I'm not an expert the only thing I'm an expert at is buying tackle high-end tackle at cheap prices I mean I have that down to a science because you know I don't have a boatload of money so I have to make my dollar stretch. I don't want to use $50 reels. I want to use $300 reels, but I don't want to pay $300 price tag. So we're going to do a sale unboxing. And I want you guys to remember, in a week or two, we are going to be doing the year-end Amazon unboxings. So I'll give you guys just a little uh, uh, sneak peek on that video. So, one of our packages is a Fluger Patriarch. Check Tackle Warehouse right now. They're $1.99. You can get them on sale for sure. I paid $100 even. So, I got this 50% off. So, if you don't buy pretty much all of your gear from Amazon, as far as rods, reels, and line go, you're going to want to watch that video. It'll change your life. So, that's coming up. But first, we have a sale unboxing now this is gonna be kind of boring okay so I want you guys to understand what I'm about here because there's a lot of new people to the channel welcome aboard I appreciate it I'm a guy that likes to fish a lot I'm not an expert at fishing I'm pretty competent as a clear water angler 10 feet of visibility you know I'm almost always gonna get a limit uh, I'm pretty good at catching fish not great at catching you know the five biggest I struggle with that trying to get better I'm still young you know give me give me a chance here we'll get better as we go um, and you know I'm not an expert at filming videos you know it takes a while I'm trying to get better trying to work harder at it you know slow and steady I have a job I've got mortgage payments I got truck payments you know I've got my own little world set aside and I like to share my fishing world with people so today we're doing a sale on bagging video small order but uh this is kind of an advanced buying tackle, which is making your dollar work for you. If you're Canadian, the American dollar is very high. And if you're American, your dollar is very high, and you might as well capitalize on it. Now, this is just one way to buy tackle. This is All this is is only taking the variable as much tackle as you can buy for as little amount of money. There are other factors to consider. You know, supporting the little guy, um, brands, all that stuff. I mean... You know, if you want to go that route, that's fine. But this is just making your dollar work for you. So we're going to do a little unboxing, or unbagging as the case may be. And then I'm going to sit down and talk to you about why I bought some of these items at sale and not Tackle Warehouse during their Black Friday sale. Okay, guys. So I'm, again, when I do unboxings, I'm probably going to be behind the camera a lot of times. It's just easier and quicker for me to just quickly explain why I got what I got. So... Here we are. This is a Mustad Wacky Jig Head here. Um, Tackle Warehouse was 40% off these. These were even cheaper. So these are 1 8 ounce. I fished deep water. So this is going to go. They had some shimmy sticks here. Hopefully the video is better from bagging. We got some Hack Attacks flipping jigs here. This black or purple. Okay, that was loud. Purple brown. You know, some good colors. Black and blue. Just more hack attack, you know, this like blue and whatever else you have, blue and brown. Let's see, same thing. We got Gambler here, it's like a bluish, greenish color. 
wacky jig heads again. More wacky jig heads. They work okay, and they're a lot cheaper where I got them. Uh, let's see, this like green pumpkin blue. Lots of half ounce hack packs. What's this one? Chartreuse, green pumpkin, blackish. More hack tacks, it's like your Bama color, all half ounce. Uh, live target, you know, it's uh, yellow on top, white on bottom. Fish are only going to see the bottom, so it's a white frog. I like yellow, I can see yellow better. Uh, probably like an Okeechobee craw color. It's got blue, green pumpkin. Uh, this is like a purple bluish. You know, I got mostly half ounce. The trailer adds a lot to them. I can't tell you a lot of stuff about like jigs. I'm not an expert at jigs. And you know, I'm going to be honest with my channel. When I say stuff, I try to get it right. That's like a Bama color as well. When, I, when I'm looking for a jig is the weight I want, which is usually a half ounce. And I'm looking for a stout hook, stout weed guard. And I'm hoping the silicone skirt doesn't fall apart. Other than that, I feel like the trailer does a lot for the lures. So again, you know, Bama Craw here, half ounce. Uh, half ounce, hack attack, jig, you know, I'm going to explain why I got all this. So I'm just going to sit down, I'm going to crunch some numbers for you. I know this is boring to some of you, but some of you that want to make your dollar go further, then, you know, here's some good advice. So that was... Um, and I'm bagging from a store called Sale. It's a Canadian store. They're in Ontario and Quebec. Um, it's not a bad store. I've never actually been inside. It's kind of like your Bass Pro Shop Cabela's. You know, they carry a lot of stuff. Sometimes you need a good deal on it. Sometimes you can't. These are some great deals. And I'm just crunched the numbers already. And I just want to explain why I got what I got. So... The first thing I didn't buy, I didn't need them. I got live target frogs with Spro Frogs, okay? Spro Frogs are $9 at Taco Warehouse. At sale, they're $10. That's Canadian. They go 20% off all the time, probably Boxing Day. Um, so $8 Canadian. You know what? $8 Canadian is right now, $6.01 American, okay? Taco Warehouse, $9 Spro Frogs. They go on sale 20% off Black Friday, right? That's still $7.20. So if you buy a Spro Frog at sale, like I did on Black Friday, they were still a dollar nineteen U.S. cheaper per frog. So I didn't need any. I need Live Target. Live Target frogs are twelve dollars and fifty cents on sale. Black Friday twenty percent off, but they go Black Friday sales like or twenty percent off sales a fair bit, a lot more than uh, Tackle Warehouse does. Okay, so I got it on sale for ten dollars. Um, Tackle Warehouse sells them for twelve dollars American. On sale, 20% off, $9.61. Well, that $10 I paid for that frog factored into American currencies is $7.51. So by buying that frog at sale instead of Black Friday at Tackle Warehouse, I saved $2.10. Not bad. Okay, hack attack jigs. Okay, and this is really understanding market value of a product is just because you walk into a store and you see like, oh, 30% off, that might be inflated by 50%. So still, even though it's 30% off at their store, it's overvalued in the product. I use Tackle Warehouse as usually as a global marketplace because they have most items I want. And, you know, they can be a little high. They can be a little low. But it's usually right around, you know, what uh, an item should sell for. So Hack Attack Jigs. They're $4 at sale. On sale, 20% off on Black Friday, $3.19 Canadian. That's only $2.40 in American currency. Not bad. Taco Warehouse. Okay, they're $4.59 American. But guess what? Striking was 30% off. But you know what? That was still $3.21 on sale. I saved $0.80 cents a jig. Saving money on tackle as far as lures go, in rods, reels, fishing line, if you buy fishing line ball, you know, you're gonna see some big numbers like $100 off, $50 off, $200 off. You're gonna see a lot bigger numbers there. With lures, it's largely about, you know, a dollar here, $2 there. 
factor in, you know, four or five hundred lures, well, you saved some pretty good change there. So, save 80 cents a jig, can't complain there. Must add wacky jigs, okay? Bought a few packs of those, okay? They're four dollars, they're four dollars non sale, 20 percent off sale, they're three dollars and 19 cents. Change that to American currency, same price as a hack attack jig, two dollars and 40 cents for a pack of those must add jigs, American currency. Well, guess what? Tackle Warehouse had them 40% off, okay? Well, it can't be 40%, can you? Oh, wait, you can. Um, Tackle Warehouse sells them $4.49, okay? Take 40% off their one-time sale. Here you go, boys, 40% off must add. It still comes to $2.69 US currency. So by buying those at sale when they're only 20% off, I still managed to save 29 cents pack of jig, okay? So, and that's, and that's assuming that, like, Tackle Warehouse Black Friday sale here. We're not assuming everyday Black Friday, or everyday Tackle Warehouse's sale. We're assume, assuming this is a one-time-a-year sale, and they were still cheaper to buy at that store. I did buy a lot of stuff on there, because sale doesn't have a great selection of inventory. But, you know, I realize this is, like, kind of advanced about using your global currency to the most of your Canadian check these guys out. If you're American, check these guys out as well, you know? Thank you guys for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Take care. Bye.